So now that you've fought in the Reebok gear, what do you think? Um, I actually like the Reebok gear. Um, everybody was kind of complaining about it. I kind of like it. Um, one thing that I, I am going to say, though, is that the sweats, the jacket, the sleeves are kind of outrageously long. <laughs> that needs to get hemmed a little bit. And if they were a little bit thicker, that'd be cool, too. How do you feel about your performance tonight? It was pretty commanding. Um, I felt good. I executed the game plan well. I would have liked to have got a finish on the guillotines of the head and arms, but he was tough, man. I just couldn't quite find it. Like, I, I, I feel like maybe I could have slapped it on a little bit tighter, but I was worried that I would lose position in the scramble. Um, he seemed like he was pretty aware of where of the angles I was going to take to try to finish, and the moment I let up my pressure, I was pretty sure he was going to try to go for a big scramble, so I didn't want to lose the position in the scrambles. Was there a point, though, where you thought you were closer than another time? Because you did have a, a few opportunities. That guillotine, I thought, was super close. I just couldn't quite get it. He had my I had my arm around his neck, and then the other arm I was going to use to leverage the finish, he just had really good grip on it, and I couldn't quite get it out of his wrist control without like sacrificing my own positioning. What were your thoughts on the crowd? It was obviously it's like you're walking in a hostile territory, but did, did, were you listening? Did it bother you at all? I heard it. It kind of amused me. It's it's kind of awesome. Like the Irish fans, they're belligerent, but like I'm gonna miss them, man. They made this fun. Like they were outside singing and stuff after the wins. They make it fun, dude. They had they had some drama and stuff. Like they're real passionate fans. They're fun. Um, it's not the first time I've had to deal with a, like a hostile crowd though. When I fought in Australia, I got booed when I came out in the Philippines a bunch of times they were actually chanting the other guy's name like mid-fight so it doesn't really bother me as far as the the pay for the Reebok deal how does that stack up for you as uh, compared to what you were making off sponsors just before um for me it's about the same I never really made the effort with Instagram and Twitter that I probably should I'm kind of lazy with that kind of stuff I feel like I'm like selling my soul a little bit but whatever um, for me, I make about the same amount, so I don't particularly care, except now I have nicer gear, so I guess it's pretty cool. Is it, is it nice to know that this way the money's a little more guaranteed and you'll get it within 10 days as opposed to having to chase down sponsors, or does that not make a difference? I don't really care. I have a really good manager in Jason House, so it was never really an issue to get sponsor money before. He kind of knew who the who guys to do business with and stuff, and it was never an issue getting money before. So, yeah, like I said, I guess I just have nicer gear now. I really like the bags they gave us. Those are awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, you mentioned there on social media that you don't sell your, sell your soul and that kind of thing, but you know that that's certainly a part of the game now. So is it something that you'll try to get more involved in or you're just not ever going to? Um, I'm working on it more. We actually have a lot more guys coming by the gym and stuff now. And like, so it's a lot easier for me. I just kind of repost their stuff. Like I don't even have to make up my own captions anymore, which is nice. <laughs> you have no interest in, in playing the game and, and interacting with the fans like that? I thought I was. <laughs> I don't know. I don't care. Well, it's just that when you look at the guy who's headlining this card, Conor McGregor has made a, a, a big name for himself with his ability to talk and, and communicate what he wants. So you can definitely see the value in that. That's very true, but I never got in this to sell my soul. I got in this to be the best in the world one day. I got in this to prove, like, bar none, that I'm going to be one of the greatest ever. I never got in this to talk my way to the top. I got, my, I got in this to earn my way to the top. Was there anything about Neil Siri that surprised you? Was he weaker anywhere or stronger anywhere than you expected? Honestly, that was about exactly what we thought. He hit a lot harder than I thought he would. He hit pretty hard. Um, when he was ducking his head throwing, that guy like just doesn't care, man. We collided head a heads a bunch of times, man. That guy just doesn't care. He's, he's, he's a tough guy, man. He's really tough. Were any of his guillotines in at all, or they air choked, blood choked, or they didn't get that close? He didn't get that close, honestly. I, I had him pretty under control. We, my coach, Ryan Lazares, he went over that fairly thoroughly with me. Um, we drilled it the whole camp, um, regular guillotine and arm and guillotine defense. So I was pretty, uh, I was just relaxing, kind of waiting for him to tire himself out, hopefully take advantage of his um, sap forearms and cardio. Do you think had you been able to transition from mount to the side of him with the arm triangle, you could have tapped him? Or was that, I'm going to lose position if I even try? At which point was this? Uh, he went for a guillotine, you got an arm triangle, and it looked good. And then there was just maybe an angle thing, but you said how maybe he might hip out, or jump out, or something. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I could feel him. Like, I, I was trying to work my way to the top and kind of suck it underneath and, and choke down the... the the, the artery that was inside, but I could feel him warming his way out and turning into me. So I was like, man, if I try and like yank this real tight, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna lose the shoulder and he's gonna be gone. Thanks, congrats. Thank you.